In this video, I wanted to give you several quick tips on how to tile a shower. And the reason why I'm doing this is I got an email from Jonathan who recently purchased one of our courses, one of our online courses. And Jonathan had a lot of really great questions and so I'm gonna address those questions in today's video. My first tip has to do with preparation. So if you're going to be tiling a shower, especially a shower in an older home, you wanna make sure that the, the stud walls are all nice and plumb and level because no matter what type of waterproofing board you put on those walls, if the studs aren't level and plumb, it's gonna create problems for your cement board, your curdy board, your weedy, whatever it is you're using. So first tip, check the stud walls for plumb and levelness. Tip number two is to actually use a waterproofing material behind your tile. So in this old bathroom here, we decided to use curdy board, and the reason why is it's light, it's easy to cut, and you don't need to put a vapor barrier behind it. Now, always check your local building codes for that vapor barrier question, but in this particular case, we put our Roxel insulation in the wall, and then we mounted our curdy board to our plumb and level studs. So that's my second tip for you, to always make sure you put something waterproof behind your tiles and on your stud walls. Tip number three is to really plan the layout of your tile. And the reason why you wanna do that is you don't want a sliver of tile at the ceiling. <laughs> that looks really, really bad. So you don't need a fancy computer program to do this. We sketch it out on a piece of paper. You can use a notebook and a pencil. And you wanna really have that plan in place for all three walls or the two walls or however many walls in your shower so that when you go to dry cut and fit your tile, it'll look good. So that's my, my third tip for you, is to plan out the tile layout for your shower wall. Tip number four is to choose a quality tile. If you're going to the home store and that's your only option, we would recommend that you purchase a porcelain tile that's the same color throughout. The reason why is if you purchase a clay-based tile and you accidentally chip it, while it's set on your waterproof material, that clay color is gonna show through the tile and that's not a good thing. So purchase a quality porcelain tile that's the same color throughout and make sure that there isn't any cupping to it, that all four sides are nice and straight and this will help eliminate lippage when you put the tile on the wall. And lippage is just whenever two tiles or two adjacent tiles are uneven to each other. That brings me to tip number five, which is if you're using larger format tile, so a tile, for example, that's 12 inches by 24 inches, you may want to invest in a tile leveling system. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you have to use the tile leveling system, but it might be a good option for you if the tile is wonky and uneven. So uh, keep that in mind. We like a lot of different ones. There's the Levtech system, there's the Tuscan leveling system, there are many, many different ones out there. But again, I'm not saying you absolutely have to use a tile leveling system, it's just that it might be a good option for you. So that's tip number five. Use a tile leveling system if you want to. Now tip number six is related to tip number five, and that is when you're laying out your tile on your wall, Keep in mind that for large format tiles, the Tile Council of North America recommends thirds, so staggering the tiles in thirds. And the reason why is that helps eliminate tile lippage. Now, if you have to go with a, a layout that isn't in thirds, you're going to have to really make sure that the lippage is controlled. You may have to buy some 16th inch spacers that you slide behind the tile. Uh, make sure that you use the appropriate sized notched trowel for your, for your tile. So that could be a one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch trowel or a one quarter inch by three eighths inch square notch trowel. It might be a half inch by half inch square notch trowel depending on the size of the tile. Now my buddy Sal de Blasi has a great video on how to choose your your trowels and you can check out that video right here. But again, make sure that your tile layout is in thirds if you've got a large format tile. If you cannot adhere to that third, that one third layout, then get yourself a uh, tile leveling system and some U-shaped horseshoe shims to help you 
keeps all those tiles nice and even on the wall in the shower. Tip number seven is very simple, and that is to use the smallest grout line possible for your tiles. So the smallest grout line that you probably should be using is a 16th of an inch. You should reference the Tile Council of North America guide, or handbook rather, uh, on the, the minimum thickness or width of your grout joint. So in this shower here, we did actually use 1 16th inch horseshoe shims to space out the tiles. By the time you get everything in, that 1 16th is gonna turn into an eighth of an inch sometimes. So keep those Keep those thoughts in your, in your head as you're planning out your tile in the shower. Tip number eight is to use a quality thin set for tile. Now, there are a ton of thin sets out there, but if you're gonna be using a large format tile, like the ones in this shower here, we would recommend that you check out Ardex X77. X77 is a wonderful thin set. We would also recommend that you back butter the tile and then you use directional troweling on the wall and then you set your tile, you set your tile in your thin set and then you move it just a little bit up and down and side to side to compress those direct, directional trowel ridges. But X77 is a great thin set for vertical tiles. It's really gonna hold, it's a polymer modified thin set that's really gonna hold the tile to the wall. And especially if you're gonna be tiling the ceiling, uh, Ardex X77 is a wonderful option for you. So tip number eight is to pick an exceptional thin set for your tile. And Ardex makes a ton of them, but X77 is a great thin set for large format tile. Tip number nine is to use a quality grout for your shower tile. Now you're gonna wanna pick a grout that doesn't scratch your tile. Behind me are glazed tiles. And if you're using glass mosaics as well, you wanna be careful with the grout that you choose. Now we, we used Caracolor U, which is unsanded grout by Mape for this shower. And you can watch my video tutorial on that right here. But the reason why we did that is it's, it's got color consistency. It is phenomenal in terms of its strength. You can add an additive to it to make it stronger and that additive will make it stain resistant. Now, if you want a, a urethane based grout that's already pre-mixed, we like Quartz Lock 2. So you can check that out. It's called Quartz Lock 2 by Bostic. Uh, that's a really, really nice grout because there's color consistency to it. No matter if you buy the grout this year or the same color next year, the color is gonna be the same. You don't have to mix it with water. It's stain resistant and it's got quartz in it so it makes it a really solid grout. Now another option for you is Mapay's Flex Color CQ. That stands for colored quartz. It also has colored consistency, stain resistance, and is pre-mixed. I used it on the floor here in this bathroom, but you can use it for walls as well. So those are three different options for a Care Color U, which is unstanded, uh, Flex Color CQ, which is a pre-mixed grout by Mape, and then Quartz Lock 2 by Bostic. All the tips that I gave you today are actually in our online course, which is called How to Tile a Shower Like a Pro. You can check out that course right here. We think that it's great for homeowners who want to remodel a bathroom or a shower themselves. Uh, we also think it's good for new contractors who want to learn how to tile a shower, make extra money, be more efficient, and have a quality job that they're not going to get callbacks on. So again, you can check out that online course right here. Thanks so much for watching our video today. I really hope that these quick tips help you out with your bathroom remodel. If you've got any questions whatsoever, ask us down in the comments, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.